So right now we're going to demonstrate how to use this instrument called gyroscope. The speciality about this instrument is that it's foldable. So it can be easily transported from one place to another and it's a, it's very sturdy. So it's uh, meant to withstand a lot of shocks or rough handling. Now, in order to use this instrument, what we are going to do is first take it out of the box and set it on a flat surface like a table. Uh, take the two triangular supports out and place it right next to the gyroscope. Now this has two dowel pins and they are meant for holding the base in place. So we are going to place them this way and we are going to set this lens plate aside. That makes it easy to mount it. Next, take the base that has four holes for a kind uh, on, on the bottom and they actually go right into the dowel pins. So just like that. Now since I am a right handed person I would like to have the writing pad on my right hand side but if somebody was a left handed person then he or she may just want to flip the base around so that the, the writing pad is on his or her left side. Now we are just going to continue the operation with, with the writing pad on my right side. So the, so the base is steady now and we are ready to start using the gyroscope. But before we proceed, please make sure you have a few writing pads and some pen or pencils ready with you. Next, we are going to open up the vertical plates and then loosen the thumb screw that's on the other side of the gyroscope and gently lift up the mirror base. So the link over here locks it in place at 45 degrees so it's completely stable. Now this foldable gyroscope comes with a bunch of practice cards so it's easier for the patient to actually use them and improve his or her binocular vision. For this particular uh, 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 for this particular experiment of this particular uh, exercise, we are going to use this particular image, and this is a very simple image that the patient has to sketch on his or her writing pad. So gently slide this image in the slot over here, just like this, and it fits nice and properly. Then we'll take a sticky sticky note out from a pad and place it on the side and now we are going to install the lens plate. Now in this lens plate it has been designed such that it can only fit in one direction. So there are two slots underneath and they correspond to the respective slots on the vertical plates. So just place the vertical, uh, so just place the lens plate on the vertical supports. And it just sits nice and snug. Now we're going to look through these lenses and we're going to sketch the image that we're going to see through the left eye using the right eye which is going to be seeing the writing pad or the writing paper. So with practice or as the binocular vision improves, when the patient moves his or her pen on the writing pad, it would seem as if he or she is actually moving it on the practice card. And that's because the brain is able to fuse the image from the left eye and the right eye into one single image. So the motion of the hand would appear as if it's moving on the practice card. So that's how we actually use this instrument.